What's up, babes? Welcome back. It's Barb City, where be hella mother and Liddy. Let's go on ahead and get into it. Before we do, as always, remember when in doubt, just pull your mother effing blood out. Thank you to everybody who continues to go on over to Facebook and follow us over there, including all of our other social media platforms. You are very much appreciated. Our first topic is going to be about Hallie and DDG finally coming out and telling the world what we already knew. Not only was she truly pregnant, but as you can see here, she posted this photo on her Instagram and she says, even though we're a few days into the new year, the greatest thing that 2023 could have done for me was bring me my son. Welcome to the world, my halo. The world is desperate to know you. So first of all, congratulations to them. We are very happy for you for the a thousand time. And let's just say I knew it. Anyways, if they named their son Halo, it's just like, oh my God, I love that so much. I cannot even lie, but congratulations to them. Let's go on ahead and move forward into 77 cents. So 77 cents did announce yesterday that she is going to be working on another album. Now, I find this interesting that she's not taking time to rest and like work on what she calls her craft so that she can grow. She's been out for like 11 years and her career has not went anywhere. She continues to drop flop after flop. And it's just like, now she's going right into an album. I don't know um, how this album is going to do. I don't feel like it's going to do any better than the last one because all her recent songs, even collabs that she has recently put out have been flops. So anyways, as you guys can see here, someone basically tweeted and said, hold on, let me pull it up for y'all. My bad, it's moving slow, it's not my fault. Someone said Lotto's 000 album really had a lot of bangers on it. For real. I hate y'all slept on it. And it's crazy because y'all sleep on all her projects. You know what I mean? But anyway, she retweeted that and said, wait till I drop album number three this year. And I was shocked when she said album number three, because I'm like, dang, no one even knows that you had an album number two. You know what I mean? But Anyways, y'all, people did start tweeting stuff like this. Et Lotto is threatening to release her third studio album this year. So let me know if you guys are going to be buying and streaming um, 77 Cents' new album, okay? Let's go on ahead and get into our next topic, which is going to be Saweetie. Saweetie also previewed some new music. And to be quite honest, it sounds like Saweetie has been doing the exact opposite of what 77 cents has been doing okay i say that because the general public is here for what saweetie previewed today okay all of the comments were good i did not see not one negative comment and i am not over exaggerating and you guys know i like sweetie right i feel like saweetie is very beautiful i feel like she's very unproblematic and i'm just really here for her at the end of the day um and i just feel like saweetie just does good with like brand deals modeling that kind of stuff i never really felt like rapping was for saweetie but to be quite honest after hearing this snippet i do feel like saweetie has been working on her craft and just getting better so let me know if you guys heard the snippet over on her Instagram. I believe the song is going to be called Rich Activities. I say that because 
as you can see here in the picture that she posted um at the bottom it says hold on let me move this it says rich, hashtag rich activity so especially if that's the name of the song i don't know that's kind of hitting but anyways like i said let me know what you guys think about that and let's go on ahead and get into some of her comments so all these comments look you guys they are back to back so i am not lying when i said the general public is here for what Saweetie had to offer. And that's different for Saweetie. Normally, they're dragging her in her comments when she previews music. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, they said, period, rich activities. It's time, baby. When you shoot in the music video, when are you dropping? Drop, OMG, ah, rich activities only. And two more people saying, oh, they not hearing you. Love pretty girl rap. I hear you popping it off, but I like this song. What's this? So again, those comments were back to back. So sweetie, they're feeling you. You might as well go on ahead and drop it. Okay. Now let's go on ahead and move forward into Doja Cat. So Doja Cat did um, attend a movie premiere. I did not get the name of the movie. I apologize. I tried to remember it. I forgot it. Anyway, she attended a movie premiere and she was dressed basically how Doja Cat likes to dress. She likes to dress bringing a lot of attention to herself. That is not new for Doja Cat, but people were not feeling her outfit that she chose to wear. As you guys can see here, like I said, it looks like something that Doja Cat would wear in my opinion. I do feel like the glasses made her look a lot older, but what people are pointing out is the fact that Doja Cat had most of her cat out. Okay, you guys can go check out these photos on your own, but of course I had to cross it out for the sake of my YouTube channel, but Doja Cat pretty much had her cat out okay at the movie premiere all right so like i said people were not here for it you could see all of it okay and here were some of the comments you can see the whole thing it's a no from head to toe she looks a hot mess no ma'am i see bumps i see tape she probably couldn't make any sudden moves Another person saying, I'm confused. I will be back to check the comment section later. And one more person now says, why is that cat out of the bag in public? Embarrassing. Okay, so let me know what you guys think about her choice of an outfit for the night. And let's go on ahead and get into Nicki Minaj and Foxy B. You guys, y'all already know, Botsy B and her fans are always trying to spread misinformation, fake news, and more. And I'm always going to be here to clear it up, okay? I'm always going to be here to clear it up. I will never argue with the dud. Instead, you guys know, we're just going to hit them with the stats every single time. So, with that being said... As you guys can see here, one of Botsy B's fans tweeted and said, with a net worth surpassing 150 million, Cardi B is now the richest female rapper alive. Congratulations, Queen. And they basically photoshopped um, a post from Google showing that she made over $150 million, right? Well, y'all know I did my research and as you can see here, Celebrity's Net Worth posted, Cardi B is an American rapper, producer, reality television star, activist, and entrepreneur who has a net worth of $80 million. Not just that, I looked up Nicki Minaj Nicki Minaj's net worth in 2024 is estimated at, what do you know, $150 million. 
According to Celebrity Net Worth, while her music is obviously her biggest money maker, a lot of Minaj's income comes from her sources, especially endorsements and product lines. So let's be clear. Another thing I want to get into about the queen, who is the richest female rapper of all time? Topping the list with a net worth of $150 million. Nicki Minaj has dominated the rap scene since her debut in 2009 with multiple chart topping hits, numerous awards, and a devoted fan base. She has solidified her status as the current queen of female rap and why she tops the list of the richest female rappers. Next one. Who is the highest selling female rapper? Nicki Minaj. To round out the year, Nicki Minaj returned with her fifth studio album, Pink Friday 2. While it's too soon to tell what the lasting impact of her newest album will be, Minaj stands as the highest selling female rapper of all time, having moved over 100 million units throughout her career. And just one more. Who is the most awarded female rapper of all time? Minaj, who has won 12 MTV EMAs in total, is one of the most influential and acclaimed female rappers of all time. She has sold over 100 million records worldwide, making her one of the best-selling music artists of all time, okay? End of mother discussion. And until next time, I love you guys so much. Thanks!